Still on the NPP, a former deputy chief executive officer of the Social Investment Fund, Aloas Mol, was forced to file his nomination forms online for what he says was a grand scheme to prevent him from picking the forms at the constituency office to contest the sitting MP, Ambrose Derry. The Nandom NPP parliamentary aspirant says he was prevented by the constituency secretary from picking forms at the constituency. My nomination documents were adequately vetted on behalf of the national office by the treasurer and that he saw that I had paid the required fees and that the required attachments I had provided and that he held the view on behalf of the national executives that my documentations were right and duly received. The former deputy chief executive officer of the Social Investment Fund, SIF, accused the constituency executives and other influential people in the Upper West region of scheming to prevent him from contesting the sitting MP, Ambrose Derry. The NPP Nandong Constituency Secretary, Martin Woyang, in a letter signed and dated December 14, 2023, and addressed to Alois and copied to the regional executives, says the former SIF Deputy Director ceases to be a member of the party, claiming Alois campaigned against Ambrose Derry in 2012, 2016, and 2020. The former Deputy Chief Executive Officer of the Social Investment Fund denied all allegations. I'm an ordinary member now. So it means I cannot automatically forfeit my membership upon breach of any provisions of this constitution. If my constituency secretary, by extension the constituency executive, holds the view that I had undertaken certain activities which were inimical to the growth of this party, Whoever has that evidence ought to have lodged a complaint and that complaint will be brought to my attention and I'll be called to answer. Nothing like that has happened. You said I campaigned against our candidates. That is 2012, 2016, 2020. As we speak, I know that MPP has no candidates. This is the year 2023. And so I certainly cannot be campaigning against any candidate. He urged party executives not to view him as a threat to the sitting MP, asserting his competence to lead the party in Nandom. All right, so here at your election command center, we are keeping a very close eye on the development within the camp of the NPP because on January 27, that is when the showdown proper will go on 